Well, I don't know if I should tell this story for this show. Well, I was just gonna of course. Tell you. Well, it's a weird story. <laughs> but, um, are, are we starting? We're starting. We're so starting. This, is, this is day two of Cape, and day we're back two. for a follow up interview. <laughs> okay, thank you, Nick, for having me back. Um, we're going to talk about Spider Baby, which has become kind of a cult mm -hmm. classic film. And um, we did this movie 50 years ago, mm -hmm. and it kind of came and went. It, nothing ever happened with it. And um, what happened is many years later, um, Jack Hill, who was the producer mm -hmm. and uh, director writer, was a, is a really good friend of Quentin Tarantino. Okay. So Quentin Tarantino happened to see Spider Baby. Well, you know he's kind of out there. Right? For sure, yeah. yeah. And so he loves Spider Baby. So he was actually instrumental in getting this re-released. Mm. So the sad part is that Lon Chaney didn't live long enough to, you know, know that mm -hmm. it's now become a cult classic. And Lon Chaney sings the theme song. Oh, really? So anyway, Jack, who's a wonderful guy, and he's like in his 80s now. I think he's like 84, 85. Mm. Last year we were doing a, a horror convention. Uh, I think it was Monster Bath or something. And so they, after we um, were out, you know, meeting fans and stuff, they asked us, Jack um, and me, if we would go up and do a little Q&A. Mm -hmm. So Jack is a really, really nice guy, but he's very kind of quiet, soft-spoken, not real outgoing, he doesn't laugh a lot, and he's been a really nice man. So we're sitting up there, and the moderator that was, you know, interviewing us, he said, Jack, he says, you to tell me, like, this movie is such a quirky little off the wall, bizarre, kind of strange movie. Mm -hmm. Because how did you ever come up with this idea? Like, whatever made you sit down and have a concept of such a strange little movie? And how did you just sit down and write this? So Jack says, in this very droll, straight face, he goes, Well, I was smoking a lot of weed back then. <laughs> it was great. It was hilarious. And of course, you know, everybody just died laughing. Yeah, of course, yeah. And, then, so, okay. and how about like working with Lon Chaney, of course, like wonderful. you must have known the Wolfman and his whole history at Universal. Absolutely. And... In fact, that was the main reason why I wanted to get this role because mm -hmm. it was really a stretch for me because, you know, we kill people. And I always did, you know, the little girl you know, old yellers and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And so when I went on the audition, I just wanted this part so badly, mainly because I knew Lon Chaney was going to be in it. And I thought that would be really a thrill to work with him. And he was the nicest, sweetest man. And um, in fact, I, I always just thought of him as kind of like a gentle giant, you know, just as sweet as he could be. And I felt so honored to work with him. And, you know, unfortunately, it was such a low budget and we did it in like, I think we filmed the whole thing in like 13 days. Wow. So we didn't get to really well, know well. each other that well because we had to be working. Should, uh, but we uh, all got uh, along so great. And Jill Banner, um, this is Jill here, mm -hmm. um, she and, was and his, darling. And this was her first role and she's a wonderful actress. And and, uh, we played sisters and then said, hey, but you know, he has course, a big yeah. following. That's it in that photo over there. And, um, he's the, the brother. And um, yeah, that's the picture. Yeah, he just had a role. He just had a role in uh, Bone Tomahawk, which is a western. Oh, did Sid, he? Yeah, oh, just okay. a little cameo at the beginning. It was really oh, good. I love Sid, and um, he's just great. And um, one day, this is really bizarre. A couple years ago. Um, I was just sitting reading People magazine like I do every week, mm -hmm. and there was an article on Rob Zombie, and they were asking him to name his five all-time favorite movies, mm -hmm. and he said Spider Baby yeah, was his second all-time wow. favorite movie, and the first one was Freaks. Okay, <laughs> it's like really bizarre. yeah. Well, that makes sense. And um, and they had in People magazine and, and this little tiny it's picture. Like, it was of Sid and me. And I was just so um, excited to see that and to know that Rob Zombie, you know, and then Quentin Tarantino, as they said, was instrumental in getting it re released. And there's a powerful following that's really pushing the movie forward. And now they're, they're in, actually, I was just told by Jack that they're in negotiations of making action figures from Spider Baby, wow. which is really cool. So it's just amazing, right? Like 50 years. Did you ever think, like, Star Trek? No. Did, like, 
know, all of these things. Yeah. Yeah. I know, and I, I just feel so fortunate well, to have been a part of mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. this. So, but Spider Baby is just, it, it's incredible to me that it has such a following, mm -hmm. you know? It's not the typical horror film that's, you know, gory or mm -hmm. bloody or anything. It's just kind of campy, <laughs> mm -hmm. you know, kind of tongue-in-cheek, yeah. you know? Mantan Marlin is in it. And, um, Sometimes that's the best thing, though. Not too much gore, right? No, no. It was just, you know, the innuendos. Because, like, in this picture, we just bumped him off. <laughs> this one. Because um, there's a, quite the scene with a pitchfork, right? <laughs> oh, there, well, there's the this one. Yeah. Get caught. <laughs> and then oh, sorry, here's sir. Sid here. That's me. When I had blonde hair back then. Yeah. That was. Uh, that's a great image, too. That yeah. one. And then there's this, this one. And then. This one, we're getting ready to make the kill. I always say it looks like we need decaf. <laughs> that one, doesn't it? Wow, <laughs> that is great. So it was just, and that is, this is the lobby card from it, but it's just so fun when people, you know, remember this movie. It's mm -hmm. just, um, it's just kind of fun. It's, a, it's just a fun off the wall movie. But I loved how Jack answered that question. Yeah. It was hilarious. Well, thank you so much again for reminiscing and, and joining me. Thank you. I always love a... talking about Spider Baby. And thank you for having me on your show. It was a show. pleasure. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks. Thank you to all thank the fans. You. Thank you.